All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So recently, the GOP passed a federal parental rights bill that along with all the work that Ron DeSantis is doing down in Florida. You know, this is good news for parents, giving them more access to what their kids are learning and more insight to their kids education, especially in public schools. Now, you would think that'd be a good thing, right? I mean, it sounds like a good thing to me. Um, parents need to be involved in what their kids are learning. I've covered several videos on this channel. And, you know, aside from my channel, it's other channels you can go look at and you can see what, you know, some of these teachers are telling kids, things along the lines of keeping secrets, pushing, you know, um, LGBTQ agendas on kids, a, a whole lot of perverse things that we just don't, we don't need in, you know, in schools. School should be about learning. It shouldn't be about agendas. It shouldn't be about politics. It should just be about learning, to be honest. But yeah, you would think that'd be a good thing. Something that Democrats and Republicans could just agree on. We could all agree on as a country, but no, of course not. The Democrats and AOC, Hakeem Jeffries, they're, they're in meltdown mode as usual. So we're going to take a look at AOC having a meltdown over all of this. Let's roll the clip. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe while we're watching. Now let's roll it. Let's just look at the impacts of similar Republican legislation that has already passed on the state level. Look at these books that have already been banned due to Republican measures. The Life of Rosa Parks. This apparently is too woke by the Republican Party. Song of Solomon is, is unacceptable to Republican politics. 40% of banned books have report, uh, reported are significantly addressing and specifically addressing LGBT issues. To say and talk about government reach and freedom, this is a legis this is a bill, this Republican bill is asking the government to force the outing of LGBT people before they are ready. And talking about the rights of parents in this gallery today, the National Parents Union is here saying don't do this. I have a letter that I'd like to submit where they are asking the Republican Party to keep culture wars out of classrooms. Our children need urgent and aggressive educational solutions. The American Library Association coming out against this Republican proposal. When we talk about progressive values, I can say what my progressive value is, and that is freedom over fascism. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, time has expired. All right, guys, so you've seen that, you heard that. Typical AOC just up here lying to everybody's face. So she discussed the book Songs of Solomon. That book has been controversial for decades. The book came out, I think, in 77, in the 70s, late 70s. That book is old. It has sexual themes and things in that book that aren't necessarily appropriate for, for kids or for the school's library. So that book has been... That book has been banned in the past. Like this isn't some new GOP book banning that the GOP just launched on that book. So that's that's baloney. And then she mentioned the Rosa Parks book. There were hundreds of books that were purchased for the schools that had to be reviewed. So they put a freeze on books. They reviewed them. The books are back on the shelf. Rosa Parks book is back in the sh on the shelf. It's not banned. She's just lying. And it's funny how. You know, she talks about those books specifically. She bought those three, but of course, she don't even want to mention, don't even want to look at, don't even want to talk about all of the the books that's about gender queer and and you know uh, that that have literal porn inside the books. I've done several reviews, books at school board meetings, books in school libraries that are just completely flat out inappropriate. I've seen them with my own eyes. We've all seen them. She don't want to talk about none of that though. So she's okay with all of that. She, she's okay. She just wants to peddle this lie further that Ron DeSantis is trying to ban uh, black history from, from being learned. Nobody is against black history or trying to ban black history from being taught in schools. That's just an exaggerated lie pushed by people like this to get people outraged and to get people angry. And unfortunately, it works. The lie has already been planted inside of people's heads and they're just going around agreeing with it preaching it as if it's true, but no one is against black history being taught in schools. That's just a lie. Um, it's one thing for black history to be taught, black American history to be taught, but it's another thing to say that all white people are evil and 
you know, all of these crazy CRT rooted type of themes that that's, you know, it's a reason why CRT is its own subject. It's the reason why when CRT was introduced, it was taught in colleges and universities, not for, you know, kids at the elementary level. But I digress. Let's move over to Hakeem Jeffries, a.k.a. Barack Obama 2.0, and see what he had to say about all of this. Their educational agenda is pretty simple. They want to ban books. They want to bully the LGBTQ plus community. They want to bring guns into classrooms, kindergarten and above. That's their educational agenda. They want to ban books about history, ban books about the American journey, ban books about the Holocaust, ban books about slavery, ban books about the civil rights movement, ban books about the LGBTQ plus experience, ban books about the Native American experience, ban books about the Latino experience, ban books about the Asian American experience, ban books about our collective journey as a great country, a gorgeous mosaic of people from all over the world who come here to pursue the American dream. That's what makes American exceptionalism so phenomenally important to our collective success as a country, and they want to take that away from the parents of America. Martin Luther King, Jr. What else do they want to ban? They want to ban a book called Melissa a book describing, in very personal terms, the experience of a trans girl beginning to understand her identity. What's so dangerous about that? I was taught in, 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 in my religion, growing up in the Cornerstone Baptist Church, that we are all God's children. Shouldn't we learn about all of God's children? That's what my religion teaches me. What's so offensive about Melissa? What's so offensive about this book? Let me read a passage. Her heart sank. She had genuinely started to believe that if people could see her on stage as Charlotte, maybe they would see that she was a girl off stage. Two, extreme MAGA Republicans don't want your child to learn about the LGBTQ plus experience in America. That's not a decision that extreme MAGA Republicans here in Congress should make, the parents of America. So they want to ban books about the Holocaust, ban books about black history, ban books about Mexican history. They just want to ban everything. What would they even teach about by the end of banning everything? According to this guy. Just making stuff up. And of course, they will never admit to the perverse things that actually have been in schools. They will never talk about the whole reason why these laws, these book bans and things like this have even become a big issue. They won't even talk about it. But I've talked about it on my channel. I've seen it with my own eyes, like I said. So they're either willfully ignoring the concerns that many parents have about the things that their children are being exposed to in schools or they're just dumb as rocks. You decide. But that's it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe when you're at the door. And until next time, you guys, I'm out of here. Peace.